Terry Cagle. Is that a new pair of All Stars? Actually, the traveling salesman said they're inverse All Stars. Never heard of those before. Apparently, they're all the rage in Disco Tennessee. Um, number one. Is Disco Tennessee even a real town? And number two, why are they called inverse All Stars? Where do you think the music genre got started? Of course, Disco Tennessee is a real place. The lady said that it converts all your efforts into an inverse variation equation. Okay, time out. What is an inverse variation equation? I don't know. Let's put them on and find out. Ah! I can't get up! What just happened? I have no idea. It's the inverse. Let me try. Now try to stand up. Okay, here goes. I just laid down. This is so weird. It's that sales lady. She tricked me. Let's go find her. She can't be far off. I can't move! Oh, right. Sorry. Harder than I thought. I'll just go get her. I found her. All right. All right, you're free. What are those things? What is an inverse variation equation? Well, an inverse variation equation is where one variable increases while another variable decreases. It is represented by the equation y equals k divided by x. Inverse variations will not form a straight line. They'll form something like this. Therefore, whatever you try to do is oppositely reflected back at you. When you try to stand up, you sit down. When you try to walk forward, you go backwards. Yeah, we noticed. Yeah, I should have a pair of direct all-stars in here somewhere. There are direct variation equations? Yes, in direct variation equations, if x goes up, then y goes up as well. In a direct variation equation is represented by the formula y equals k times x, and it will form a straight line, like this. Where are those all-stars? Oh no! Raya, my evil twin. <laughs> I got the fashion sense in the family. She got the speed. It's variation time. Go get him, girls. gonna get away now. Ah! I always told her to watch out for cars. <laughs> 